Courtney, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Let's start with what Ashley was talking about, the pent-up demand. Uh, I'm wondering, I mean, it's not just Americans. This is worldwide. Uh, The whole world has been putting off its travel plans for a long time now. I'm wondering if the market has fully valued in the power of that demand. I know there have been a rebound of, of airline stocks and cruise stocks and so forth, but not to the extent that I think it has the capacity of growing. I would agree with that. Um, When we look over the last month, which is when we started to see some of this vaccine news really come to fruition, your like cruises and airlines and all of your leisure travel has been doing really, really well, but they're still significantly down for the year. And I would argue that all of those gains that we've seen thus far are just an inkling of what we can see when the investors and markets shift from these work from home stocks into the economy reopening again. We're going to see this big shift, and those are one of the big beneficiaries of that. Well, and again, it's not just the desire to travel. It's the fact that people have not been spending their money on travel. They haven't been spending their money in restaurants, movies, theater, et cetera. They've They've been saving it, and savings is going up. So they're going to have the cash to do it with. That's exactly right, which is very different than previous recessions, where you tend to get this pent-up demand as you come out of a recession. But this one, I would argue, is actually probably going to be more pent-up demand because we couldn't just not travel because we didn't have the money to. We were forced not to travel. And to your point, there's so much cash on the sidelines. Everybody was saving their money. They're going to want to go on trips. They're going to want to spend money. Um, People on Wall Street actually think that 2022 could be one of the biggest leisure travel years we've seen. Um, So that pent up demand is definitely there. Very quick last question. It's not just vacations. It's also business travel. A lot of airlines (laughs) rely on business travel for that extra kick because first class travel uh, they make so much money on. Is is that going to kick in in a big way? That should, um, but that's actually one of the interesting things when you look at airlines. Like, for example, Southwest is one that doesn't depend on business travel nor international travel. They're more leisure and domestic focused, which is mm-hmm. probably arguably would be one of the first um, beneficiaries of that wave. So will it happen? Yes. Um, but I think seeing people just wanting to travel probably happen first is my best right. guess.